What is up, YouTube? My name is Lock the Eddie. Welcome back to Stardew Valley. And uh, last episode, we did a big thing. We got the catalog, right? So we can decorate our building. That is hopefully going to happen at the end of this episode. The first thing that I want to do is get the walnut room open. And we are going to keep looking on this guide. We are going to get those last few walnuts and get that door open. That's going to be the first portion of this episode. The second portion of the episode is going to be decorating. So make sure you guys watch to the end. It might be filmed in two separate occasions. So if I change clothes, that's why. <laughs> if I don't, I filmed it all in one uh, in one go. And I'm a goat that way. We need 13 more walnuts. All right, let's get going. First thing we have to do, always the slimes. Because I swear I have not gotten the rest of these slimes. But they just aren't dropping anymore. Maybe I have gotten all of them. Nope. I still don't have a banana. What up, Leo? Hi, everything okay? Yeah, everything's great. Can I talk to your bird? Hidden in the pages of the journal. Okay, so there's still some pieces of the journal that I'm missing. We should probably go to the volcano and see if I can get more journal scraps. I hate the volcano. <laughs> but I'm probably missing journal scraps that can be found in there. And then on top of that, I think some of the bones that he needs are also in here. I think it's where I got the mummified bat. So there's just a couple things in here that we might be able to snag. So let's just head back in here. Here we got a journal scrap. Ooh, where is it? Is that right in front of the volcano? Soul sapper ring. Interesting. Okay, so we got at least one more option to get a journal scrap walnut. Okay, we fell asleep down here. Not much went on. I did find a journal piece, though. And I'm pretty sure I know where to go with it. Let's sell our st stuff. I think the journal scrap was leading us to... I wanted to say the volcano, but that doesn't look like the volcano. Oh, and it's raining. We can do the bird one. Yes. Okay. If this is right, it's in this area somewhere. There it is. Yep. Oh, and an ostrich egg. I can't do anything with that yet, but we have it. Let's look for these birds. I don't know where they're going to be. We are in the volcano area, so we're in the north. The bird wasn't to our left, so he's got to be down here somewhere. He wasn't down here. Maybe I got to come back. Okay, we got a red bird. So Ruby is south. Let's head to the right, and then we'll drop this immediately in so that we don't get him confused. And then we'll find the one that's over here. This one is not here. Is this not the east? Does this side not count? That's definitely the south. I would consider this area the east, right? Okay, let's head to the west. We can do like a process of elimination thing. Does only one bird spawn in per rainy day? It can't be. That'd be so hard. I should have kept the aquamarine because I think one of mine is a blue bird. I'm going to check back here because who knows? I don't know where it's going to spawn. 
Okay, not back there. And then we check down here. Nothing. We definitely got the one down here. Let's go back up north. If we can get this one, we're golden. We'll check up here first. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing in this area. Maybe it's just one bird per day. I don't know. For those of you that have been watching, let me know if you remember which one of my birds were where. Because I know I, I'm pretty sure I got a purple bird. Pretty sure I've got a blue bird. Okay, I got a fossil, but it's a Gunther fossil. Let's go talk to the parrot, get our hint. I'm at the point in the guide where I don't know what I'm missing. So I'm using the parrot to give me hints and then using the guide to go figure out what the hint is. Hidden in the pages of the journal. Okay, so I'm still missing a journal page. Yep, so there's only one bird per rainy day. So I'm actually going to... I might totem back? No, let's just go back. I want to go check out my farm, look at the animals, got get the truffles, sell some things. We got a letter. Um, okay, we got a rainbow shell from... I think it said Demetrius. I also needed to check on my greenhouse. I haven't been in here in a very long time. Cool. A lot of the mixed veggies are done. Ooh, two gold ones out of there. We only need two more gold ancient fruit. We can use the silver one to get more seeds. All of the eggs. Trying to get this all cleaned up without being in here for so long. Everything's built up. Had to empty my inventory twice. Okay, it looks good. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that egg. Yeah, that's okay. We'll leave it. We got three ancient seeds that time. We are probably going to fall asleep. Right in the living room. I was trying to get so many things done. <laughs> okay, hoping for another rainy day on the island. If not, I have some other things we can do. We made some more lightning rods. We're going to re-house Bullseye. Probably to down like in this area. Um, and then I'm going to fill that area with lightning rods. I just realized that we need battery packs for a lot of things. So we're going to hope for a rainy day here. We're going to hope for a rainy day on the island. We have a new special quest. Okay, this one's potato stuff. We're growing some potatoes by accident. I just don't know how many she's going to want. So if it works, it works. If not, it doesn't. Twelve. We might get that many. All right, nothing special from Gunther this time. I have a mummified bat for the paleontologist dude. So we're going to head over there, try to get a golden walnut from him. We're also going to hope it's raining so we can get some more bird things going. I don't want to have to rewatch my episodes to figure out what the other birds were. Oh, everybody's here. Okay. Mummified bat. There we go. Still looking for some mammal bones. And then he should have a walnut for us. Perfect. Okay, what I'm going to do over here, we're going to clean this up a little bit, and I'm going to turn this into a massive strawberry farm that was mentioned by maybe Autumn, maybe Deborah. I don't remember who mentioned it. I'm sorry. Um, but so this could be a massive thing of income over here. It could have also been Nyx um, or Alpha. Somebody. One of y'all mentioned it. And I'm going to turn this into just a massive strawberry farm. I only had enough battery packs for one iridium sprinkler, though. So we are going to set this all up, but I only have one room for a single sprinkler. There's the start of our strawberry patch. Still waiting on these to grow for the frog dude. I got a short tail bone. Was hoping this would be for the bone guy, but I guess it wasn't. The walnuts are taking way longer than I thought they were. Let's go talk to the bird again to see if we get a different hint. I still don't know how to get bananas. Journal again. We're still missing one page. So we could go to the volcano again and hope for the best. But I looked up the answer to this page. And... Apparently, we need to do a mermaid thing. I'm going to see if I can get a rain totem made, because apparently we need a lot of them. We have the flute blocks to play for the mermaid. Ah, I don't have enough. 
Dang, I need three more pine tar. And I need a truffle oil as well. I feel like I haven't gotten pine tar in a long time. And it's not going to rain tomorrow on the island either. Kind of some boring back-to-back -back days. I was kind of hoping we would have more walnuts by now. So like maybe like finishing the bird one. Or if I didn't even know about the mermaid one. That's what that bird's been hinting at this whole time. I would have did that one a long time ago. We might have to wait until a couple episodes before we finish the walnut hut. Walnut room? I think it's a room. See, now I'm realizing that I haven't gotten pine tar in a long time. Since we gotta wait on the rain totem, we also have to wait on the gold, the golden walnut room. Let's decorate our house. So we have the catalog. I'm gonna wait for Pierre's to open, and I'm gonna get the other catalog, the wallpapers and floors catalog, and let's get decorating. I don't know if we're gonna decorate the whole house. It's also gonna be time lapse ish. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Here is the wallpapers and floors catalog. I just realized why I'm not going to get pine tar. This, none of these are on my pine tree. Where on my pine tree? Going to place the tapper there momentarily. And then I have a pine cone. We're going to plant a pine cone over here. This is all going to get rearranged very quickly. But for now, I can't believe I didn't realize I didn't have a pine tree. Here we go. There is so many. Know your secret, Lewis? <laughs> That's funny.
Okay, we're going to break this into a couple part episode. This is our living room, dining room, kitchen. Looks pretty good to me. Um, remember, I'm colorblind, so if some of the stuff doesn't match, blame it on that, please. <laughs> uh, I need a lighting source in here. Um, we didn't get to this room. I'm still kind of planning on what this room could be. This is our bedroom. We went kind of off the rails here, but I love the design. A uh, little Starry Night action, jungle floor. We're going to put some fish in here. I don't know if this is going to stay. Out of everything, this seems the most out of place. And I like that the bed matches the walls, but then everything else is jungly. And then we got a little bear friend down there in the corner. We changed the theme in here to sports, but I kind of like the dinosaurs. So we might go back to the dinosaurs. We don't have any kids yet, so we don't have to worry about it yet. But I'm excited. I'm so excited. This is how this is turning out. I didn't realize this was an actual dresser, like useful thing. So we're going to take everything out of these chests and move them up here. All things that can be done either off camera or later. So yeah, I think this is where we're going to leave this. We, uh, we have decorated. So I hope you all enjoyed that time lapse. Expect another one in the next episode. And yeah, maybe we get into the walnut room next episode. Depends on if I can get the, the rain totem. Or if we get lucky and get some rainy days. But look how cozy this looks. I went like dark wood cabin-y style for down here. And then, you know, the the bedroom went off the rails. But I like jungle and adventure and things like that. So we got we got it going on in here. I'm excited. Yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, do all those fun things for me. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And thanks for all the kind words. Uh, I've got some game recommendation. Y'all said to just keep on going with this series. So y'all are motivating me. And I appreciate it. I'll see y'all in the next one. I recorded this whole episode with my camera on the wrong side. When will I learn?